We would like to welcome you to our cardiac cath lab at Advent Health Zephyr Hills. In this video, we will show you one of our labs and give you a preview of what you can expect during your visit with us. While you may have your procedure in a different room or at Advent Health Dade City, the lab will be similar. Let's begin with a brief overview of the heart. Even though your heart is constantly filled with blood that it pumps out to the rest of your body, the heart muscle itself gets its blood, oxygen, and nutrients from vessels that sit on the surface of the heart, called coronary arteries. With time, these vessels can start to narrow because of cholesterol buildup. If your cardiologist feels that your chest pain, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, or other symptoms could be due to this blockage, they may recommend a heart catheterization for you. My name is Crystal. I'm one of the nurses in the cath lab. I'm going to take you back and get you ready for your doctor. You and your family can follow me this way. You're going to go ahead and come back with me and your family is going to wait in the family room while I get you ready and then we'll make sure your family sees you before we take you in. Come on this way. I'm going to have you here in this bed. We have the bed ready for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have you remove all of your clothes. There's a bag here for your clothes. I have a gown. The gown is gonna go on, open to the back, just like this. And then there's socks here. And I'll close the curtain and let me know when you're ready. All right, Mrs. Smith, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put some of these stickers on you so I can get you hooked up to the monitor. We can get some vital signs. We're also gonna start an IV and we're gonna shave your groin area. Can you first tell me your name and date of birth? Debbie Smith, 329B. Okay, we're gonna put this on. I also have some questions regarding your medications and allergies. All right, you are all ready for your doctor. So we're gonna wait here. As soon as your doctor's ready, we're gonna take you into the procedure room and we'll make sure you see your family before we go in. Hi Debbie, I'm going to get you hooked up to all of our monitors. We have a blood pressure cuff, a heart monitor, and an oxygen sensor, and then I've got to put two big cold stickers on you. Before we get started, I'll give you some medicine through your IV line to help make you sleepy and relaxed. Um, during the procedure, the doctor may ask you to cough or take a deep breath. Hello, Mrs. Smith. I'm Bruce. I see that you've met Christy. We're your, uh, part of your team today for your procedure. Um, what is your first and last name? Debbie Smith. Okay, that was just for safety. And what procedure are you going to have today? Uh, they're going to do a heart cath. Excellent. So let's get started. Just a little cleaning solution just to clean everything up. The soap is cold, but it'll dry very quickly and be germ-free. This is a cold drape. It'll cover you from your chin to past your toes so you'll be completely covered up. We're gonna set you up for the procedure how we need you. If there's anything we can do to make you more comfortable, just let us know. Ms. Smith, this is just some more draping for your right arm. Let's see what you'll feel during the procedure is just some pressure right here. There's no cutting or incisions done. Hey Debbie, it's Dr. Ismail. We're going to get started here, okay? You're going to feel a small needle pinch and burn. It feels like a bee sting. After that, the area will go nice and numb and you won't feel a thing after that at all. A cardiac catheterization procedure can be done through the wrist, arm, or groin, depending on if you've had previously open heart surgery, or a test of the wrist vessels called an Allen's test or your physician's preference. Debbie, we're gonna take pictures of your heart now. While we take pictures of the heart, you can expect to see the camera moving. This is so we can look at your heart from different angles. And while we do give you medications to help calm your nerves, you will not necessarily be unconscious. We like for you to be awake so we can see if you're having chest pain. You may also feel us moving around on your legs as we exchange catheters that are specially made so we can see all of your vessels. 
you will hear our team members talking with each other to document the procedure. If we find that you require a stent to be placed, we will do it at the same time. Once you have a stent, it will stay in your heart vessel forever. We can also put a stent inside another stent if you have a blockage within that stent in the future. When we finish the procedure, depending on where we access your vessel, we may move you to our recovery area to have pressure held on your groin for 20 minutes or more. If we went through your wrist, we will place a band with air in it for two hours or more. Following your procedure, you will be transferred to our cardiac recovery unit, where you will recover and go home, or be transferred to our cardiac step-down unit to stay until your doctor discharges you. Hi, my name's Amanda. I'll be your nurse today. You're in the cardiac recovery unit. You just had a heart cath through your wrist. I'm gonna get you hooked up to the monitor and everything. We're gonna be taking your vital signs every 15 minutes and you're gonna have to act like this wrist is broken. No using it for the day because they went in an artery. Um, I can sit you up and get you something to eat or drink. You just have to be very careful with this right hand and use your left. If you have any questions throughout the process or your procedure, please do not hesitate to reach out to a member of your care team. We are here to support your mind, body, and spirit.